Welcome back to day three of the world famous mining show in Toronto, Ontario. Today we're with Greg Andrews of Search Minerals. I haven't caught up with you probably for about a year now since, right. since we did this last year. <laughs> yeah, nice. A lot has happened with Search since then. Yeah, a lot has happened with Search. Uh, recently we announced our Deep Fox resource. That's your second resource. That's now our second resource in our 70 kilometer belt. And what that's done, why, why we wanted to drill that property and get the resource out, and, it, and mind you, we only drilled down to 100 meters. Right. And, and obtained a resource. Not enough for our, our big PA that we want to do. We'll do a drill program. This, you know, we, did oh. this, we did this wrong. What's the metal you're chasing? Or metals? <laughs> What's your resource? Yeah, so our, our resource, we're a rare earth company. Right. And so we're exploring for the rare earths. And our rare earths are the key elements for the permanent magnet industry, the EV market, which is you know, an upward trending market that, right. that we're you know, getting involved in. And so that's the neodymium, praseodymium, dysposium, terbium. 59 and 60 59 on the periodic 60, table. Yeah. And the average electric car needs about a kilogram of those rare metals. Yeah, and so with those, with, uh, with those metals is we're looking to, I mean, for us to produce them, we, we still need a secure supply chain right. in North America. And that's what some government, government initiatives are, are, are to position us in that. Because if we build them and there's no supply chain, the product is gonna go back to China. Right. And, uh, right. and 85 percent of the rare earths come from China already, and we're looking at some supply chain interruptions. So projects like yours are key to Canada's health. We don't want to have to rely on China and the interference from the coronavirus to producing the products we need. Absolutely, and and more importantly, the supply chain. You look at it, the EV market, and Canada has a, a very good EV or um, auto industry market. And as they transition from internal combustion vehicles to EV, those supply chains of the EV market are not here in Canada that need to be established and it starts with the rare earths, but also starts with the demand of getting the OEMs to be interested right. where they can look down and build the whole supply chain and then say, oh, at the end of it is a safe, secure supply. So and that's what we want to provide. I would bet then that you're looking for an offtake partner. We'll be looking for an offtake partner. Where we are right now is we're, you know, in the, within the next two years, we're, we're still doing a lot of work with our two resources that's extended the life of our mind over 25 years. That's a long time. And um, we've done two successful pilot plants. We've produced our 99% mixed rare earth oxide concentrate. Right. So now we're looking, we're talking to separation companies. There's the normal SX uh, solvent and there's new technologies. But more importantly, to get to our next level from our pilot plant, we're, we're looking to do a demonstration plant. Right. And, uh, that, and, would, and that work's been done by? Dr. Dave Dreisinger, right? We're very blessed with Dr. David Dreisinger. We're world famous metallurgy. Yeah, and, and really, and it goes back to why are we here? We, we are low cost in the sense that our, our last PA in 2016 was for 1,000 tons per day with a capital cost of 152, $152 million. We've, we've always been that we need it to be financeable, regardless right. of the market. You can't rely on those exorbitant prices that got everybody into the game. And, right. Um, so we've, we, we've we developed the technology that helped reduce those costs by eliminating the typical pr uh, grinding, flotation, magnetic gravity separation out of the flow sheet, oh. which eliminates process risk, technology risk, time risk, right. all those sort of things, and also drives down our cost. This technology was invented by David Dreisinger, and uh, it's patented for us, and it allows us to um, scale up. So at, out, now that we've added Deep Fox, we can, we're looking to increase our production rate to about 2,000 tons per day. Always good to see innovation in mining. Um, too often the industry becomes stagnant. But here we are at PDAC talking to people. What are you hearing this year? Uh, there's a lot of collaboration. The Canadian government is really looking to uh, how rare earths. Prime Minister Trudeau mentioned rare earths yesterday in his conference, which was nice. Um, and, it, and it is a key to uh, being in this EV market. Rare earths are one part of it as lithium and cobalt and the others. It's, it's a whole industry to build a supply chain that doesn't threaten the auto industry. That's, right. that's key that's, that's, industry. That's, uh, that they're really looking at. And then just how to build that as you talk about a secure supply. Canada to be in a great inf uh, jurisdiction, smart people, innovative. Infrastructure, schools, and you have access to a deep water port, right? Yeah, our property, we're blessed in that uh, we're located on a deep sea port, St. Louis, uh, Newfoundland, Labrador. It's in southeast Labrador. But there's road to the town of St. Louis. Uh, right. There's power, there's a little airport there. Our property is only 13 kilometers from our town of St. Louis. 
Um, so great infrastructure, workforce, there's, there's uh, communities around Mary's Harbor, Port Hope, Simpson, right. all in the area. So we, we believe that we can get a, a nice workforce when we're ready. What's the next major step or what should we look for out of search as the next big piece of news? Yeah, a couple things. Um, there's, there's many things running on parallel. We have, um, we're continuing our environmental work. We are uh, looking to do our uh, the drill program in Deep Fox in June or July to take it down to the 200 meter level, right. which will expand the resource, and uh, and then we can put our economics onto that. Where uh, Alcoa and Innovate NL is um, just uh, are financing us for fifty thousand dollars to do two engineering studies, one on what a two thousand tons per day. Uh, full processing plant would look like, and then a 1-200 scale of our demonstration plan. So we'll have the costing so that we can go get the funding for that demonstration plan. That's our next step to um, getting that's a, done. That's your next major step. That's our next major step. That would okay. be built on site in our by our uh, in St. Louis, and that would be great for training, yes. getting ready for training. It, it's getting ready to provide product to the our our next step is the separation. And it puts money into the local economy, which is good to build your your corporate license to operate there. Yeah, we have we have a, a great relationship with our communities, a great relationship with our indigenous group there, the Nunatukva Community Council. Um, and you know we're we're looking to work together to bring this project. You know it's it's very positive wording when we talk to them. Well, search has been around a while. You've advanced the projects well, and I'm looking forward to the next stage. Yes, thank you, Peter.